Grace, just, uh, you know, talk about that moment. What was going through your mind and, and what happened? Okay, so we got the initial dispatch and, I mean, you get vehicle fires with entrapment and sometimes you arrive on scene and it's, you know, no one's entrapped, which is the best case scenario. Well, we arrived on scene because it's right down the street from our station. So me and my partner were the first on scene and, you know, we saw two individuals around the vehicle. So we weren't sure if there was someone else still in the vehicle or if it was one of them that were the the trapped individual, but um, just running up there because they were, I mean, the fire's really hot and you shouldn't be that close to it and with things can explode. So just run up and the individual's like, yeah, like, you know, these are the ones who need help. There's no one else in the vehicle. So you just, the, the individual had trouble walking. So I just bear hugged them and said, all right, we're just gonna walk backwards, you know, just keeping everyone calm in the situation and trying to talk everyone through it. And then, you know, while we're backing up, all the tires started blowing up on the vehicle, which was a little scary, but, you know, no one else got hurt or anything. So that's the best case that came out of it. Yeah, when, when it starts to, there's like that explosion right after you kind of move, uh, move them away from the vehicle. What, I mean, were you relieved? At what was going through your mind? I mean, obviously you got the shock and surprise, but then, but then what were you feeling like, man, I did the right thing or what? I was just concerned about more things exploding. So I was like, we just need to keep like moving backwards and we need to get this patient out of this general area so we can get into safe location. Cause I wasn't sure if more things were gonna blow up and if they were gonna be a bigger explosion. Yeah, is that is that your first save? I mean, is that one of the reasons that you became a paramedic that you wanted to be involved and be a first responder? Was that kind of like when you went to bed last night where you're like, or this morning, I guess, where you're like, wow, you know, that, that is, you know, why we do what we do. Yeah. I mean, I never thought, I mean, I never saved anyone before or anything like this. So it was, it was crazy. Yeah. Did, uh, what was the exchange you had with that, that person after you were, you know, the, the car explodes, you get them away. Um, was that person thankful or? Um, we just did our normal patient care, assess the patient. Um, there's nothing else I can really say along those lines. What's your, what's your message, um, you know, to the community that, that gets a chance to watch that video? You know, what would you say to others out there who get, get a chance to see that and, you know, and see that kind of bravery? Um, I don't know, just like everyone serves a helping hand and, you know, the, every, someone starkest day, you know, you could be there and be their light and help them through anything. So always be willing to help someone. You never know when you're going to need to.